Welcome to my Tai Chi Kung Fu channel. Today we're going to talk about Lo Xi Ao Bu, brush knee with a push. Lo Xi Ao Bu is more complicated for the transition section. It looks like this. Open leg, bend your knee, Lo Xi Ao Bu. First block, second block, pushing up, back to your ear, stepping up. Brush knee and push. One more time. First block, second block. Pushing up, back to your ear. Stepping out, brush knee and push. Power from the heel. Uh, you can tell the movement alone is not that difficult, but often people are confused after the yan ma fen zong, one, two, three, ba. Oh, where's my arm going to? Is it outside, inside? I feel like, oh, I'm cutting a circle, another circle. It's very complicated. I will see every time with a transition, you stepping, making more steps, and separate the whole movement into few steps. It's easy for you to remember. For me, how I want to break out is to think about. I always give my students a visual story. For example, Lo Xi Ao Bu. First, people give you a punch. All right, use your one hand blocking down, right? Look at my body, still centered, blocking by turning your waist. Second punch come in, blocking down. And keep going. This is a transition exercise. Boom, and push down. Now you have a pretty clear what this movement transition is for. Next one, you're thinking about pulling somebody's arm from an underarm, and this arm handing, putting hand, pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. So this way you have first block, second block, pushing up and down at the same time, one leg coming back. Okay, left leg coming back to right side and back to ear. Okay, now see my hand shape. It's like I'm thinking about holding my ball and slowly stepping out, right? Let's talk about the pushing arm. Roll the ball and push. But let's talk about other arm. It's called brush knee. But you're really brushing the knee by swimming your arms? No, you're not swinging your arms. You do set up the position and by turning waist and change your hand posture. From the front, you can see much clearer. Let's see one more time. Think about somebody give you a punch, doom, punch. You don't want to get punched, blocking away. Watch my waist, okay. First block, second block. Holding other people's arm and pulling up and pushing down your hand. And then now set up your arm Stepping out, find the center, watch my waist, carry the arm to the side. And let's go faster, one, two, reverse, two. Watch my heel, push, heel, push. Watching my hand, am I moving my hand? Am I moving my hand? All I did is changing my, uh, finger position towards forward, around your waist level, hip level. Watch, see that? Uh, everything go follow your waist. People think the movement are so complicated, but if you're breaking down, make it more easier. So let's see, practice with me sideways, left and right. And from behind, you can always take a look. And then we're gonna step forward for moving position. Okay, let's begin. Facing forward first. Leg open, as wide as your shoulder, raising hand and pushing down. Set up, first block and second block down. Third and holding up. Fourth, set up your arm on your ear, stepping out, five and push. Beautiful. See the ending position, back leg pushing, and reserve one, and two, second block. Three, at the same time, back to your ear, and stepping out, brush knee, and push. And one, 
and two, and three, and four, and five. One more. First block, second block, three, pushing up and down, four, back to ear, ready to push, brush knee and push. Wonderful. Let's do from behind. Out, leg open, ready position. First block by using right hand and left arm. Three, 45 degree, four, set up your arm, five, stepping out and push. Exorbing the energy, come back one, and two, and three, and four, stepping out, five. Let's do one more time. One, turn your toe forward, two, blocking, and three, and four, Stepping out, five. One more, other side. Turn your toe forward, first block one, second block two, three, pushing up and down, four, back to ear set up before you push, five. Wonderful. The Lu Xi Ao Bu is more complicated only because the two blocking down. It's very similar for beginners to see the circle, but it's hard for them to recognize going out or going in. That's what makes them very confused. Only cloud hands going out, but low xi ao bu, brush in and push, transition using put push down. So to think about the circle, I will see why not think about blocking a punch. So we'll always make a story in your head. It's much easier because I do movies where we're teaching all the actors and creating forms. You have a storyline. Oh, first block, boom, boom, block, second block, punch, and three, locking the shoulder, four, and push out. Those are the story in my mind. It's easier for me to remember all of the choreographies. So do you. Um, tai Chi is not for fighting purpose at this time, at this you know, century. But all the movement design in the old times is really good for fighting. Uh, many people always think, hey, uh, uh, this girl thinks she can fight. <laughs> I never say I can fight, but the movement a te uh, technique is designed to do this way. And the uh, low xi ao bu is a very perfect uh, uh, design for blocking, blocking, blocking. Everybody know Yung Chun, right? Boom, 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 boom. Same thing. One, two, one and two. And locking up, locking up, locking up, locking up. Those are low xi ao bu's application. Boom. And also you gotta remember how to use this technique to into the smooth 24 yang style. And this is a for ball of think about the continuation. The reason why I want to toe uh, hands finger towards forward before you push as you think about, you have a ball right here. Roll and push. Think about this is a ball. Hold the ball right here. Watch. Roll, 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 and push to the end. How to push the end is really the power come from the heel. If you're watching back my steps technique, that will teach you how to do the push. So pretty much you set up your arm Stepping out, push at the same time. If I do fast motion, you can tell all the power is really come from the heel, pushing the knee, go to the uh, hip, go to the shoulder, elbow, to the end of your palm heel, and pushing out. Watch, fast motion, one, two, pa. fast motion, pa. fast motion, push. From the front, watch my hands, fast motion, push, fast motion, push. So that's other hand, fast motion, push. And talk about Lo Xi, how to brush knee, what this arm is for. It's not just making circles. They're making circles for a reason. Often when you're stepping out, right? For example, when we do drop stance, you go into somebody's leg and pushing them out, into pushing them off the center. 
And this one is to protect yourself by other people kicking you, like somebody gave you a kick, and you're stepping out, wash my arm, brush away. Brush away at the same time, pushing out. Brush away, pushing out. Slow motion, use your waist, blocking somebody's kick and pushing them out. Goodbye. That's what this movement's for. So think about the story. Somebody come over, first punch, block. Second punch, block. Lock somebody's arm and pull them back. Look, look. This arm, pull and push. Pull and push. You can always think about pull somebody's arm, hand in this way, and this arm and pushing the uh, back of their uh, uh, shoulder. And then pull and go away and go away. So those are the normally uh, application I will teach and to make sounds more easier and more interesting other than just circle, circles, brush, circle, circle, brush. It's very easy, hard for students to remember all the movement and directions. Okay, now let's practicing left and right and we can do the forward because for the form and 24 or 42, all those uh, uh, forms, we normally do straight level and keep going forward motion. But for forward motion, a transition is much more easier than left and right. Let's follow me, look first. Before we go slow motion, we're gonna go black, black, pull, back. Brush knee and push. Take a look, my line is in the center of my leg. And other arm up, turn your knee, stepping out, brush knee and push. And coming back, okay. Very nice, and push. Good. As you can tell, for the continuation, as always feel like waving. The power go to the end and bounce back by others. I'm always teaching people, think about the ocean water. The wave go to the zoom. Bounce back because the water never stop. Once you're hitting the target, it will power, borrow the power and bounce back. However the power you deliver, that's how much power you're gonna bounce back, right? So, so does this move. So every time you finish a push, one of, for the next movement, bounce back. That bouncing will give you the next level of continuation. Wave energy, bouncing back. Brush me, bounce back once you finish. So, okay, let's watch one more time. You can train with me from the end to the other side. Okay, set up the body straight. Raising up and push down. All right, first block, second block. Pushing up, back your ear, stepping out, Pushing the heel, go to the top and bounce back. Open your toe, 45, and raising our arms back to your ears. Stepping out, brush knee and push. Coming back, open your toe, pushing up, brush knee and push. Bounce back, open toe. Up, back. Brush knee and push. Let's finish. Come over, rewind, other side. Raising hand, down. First block, second block. Push up and down, back. Stepping out, push. Bounce back. And bounce back, open toe, pushing up, brush knee, and push back, turn your waist and bounce back. And 
and finish. Left to right. To begin. First block, second block. Push up and down. Stepping out, brush knee and push. Bounce back, open your toe. Follow up, pushing up, stepping out, brush knee and push. Coming back, open your toe 45. Pushing up, stepping out, pushing. All right, I think that's enough for Lo Xi Ao Bu today. If you have any question, please leave a message. I can always explain left and right, how to block. And thank you so much for watching today. I'll talk to you more about next technique. Thank you and have a nice day.